Welcome back to Morning After on this Wednesday morning, everyone. It is 1032. I'm Ron Corning along with Yolanda Williams. Jenny has the week off, Yolanda. Good to see you. Good morning. Yes, good morning. It's been a great morning, an eventful morning. It has been an eventful morning. We had thought by now that the crowd that had gathered in Washington, D.C. would be listening to President Trump address them. That was to happen at 10 o'clock Central. He's yet to arrive there, but we are expecting that to happen. This ahead of the congressional certification of the election for president-elect Joe Biden. But the question is, will there be anything in play today that could either delay an inauguration or derail his win? Eric Cedillo is joining us now. He's a clinical <coughs> professor of law at SMU and a regular guest here on the show. Eric, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Let's start with that, the legal foundation, the legal leg on which the vice president might or might not be able to stand to block this certification. Is it is, is there an option here, or is his role in this more ceremonial? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ceremonial in terms of what he can do. I think that discussion has already been had by the president and Mike Pence. I think he's going to adhere to, to proper form and to uh, do what uh, uh, he's supposed to be doing, which is basically just accepting the, uh, the votes that are tallied up. So legally, I don't think that there's anything that they can do. Of course, we're going to have, we've heard that uh, about 150 Republicans are going to object uh, to some of the states, so they'll probably break into their uh, respective houses and uh, take a couple of hours to debate that and vote. But uh, nothing coming out of the House of Representatives is going to give the president the ability to uh, overcome what the states have already uh, realized, which is uh, President Biden on January 20th. Eric, I want to know your opinion about the Electoral College. How important is it? And, and tell us a little bit about its history. Well, I think more anything else, uh, people understand that uh, that the Electoral College kind of gives the opportunity for smaller states to have a say uh, in terms of uh, what's going on and what's happening. Uh, otherwise, they could be overrun by the uh, the bigger states in terms of, of presidents going out and, and trying to cater to them. So, but uh, but many would maintain that uh, that kind of suppresses the uh, the vote of the bigger states. You know, you you. You can have a smaller state that uh, has the impact of, of some of the bigger states. So that can be problematic. Uh, I think it's probably time that we kind of reassess, you know, the need for the Electoral College. There's some there's some good points and, and certainly some points that uh, are of contention. So it's a situation that uh, that is relatively fluid. And I think for the Republican Party, they'd probably want to maintain the Electoral College. And that is currently taking some hits, you know, from what we're seeing in terms of what the president is maintaining that uh, that has been problematic and things of that nature. But uh, one of the purposes of the Electoral College is to prevent issues like this from happening. This is why uh, everything that we're doing in terms of certification through the U.S. Code and other things are, are making sense. Uh, but, uh, you know, the president is looking for any way out. And with that, he's just testing everything that we've always thought to be just ceremonial in essence and uh, kind of turning it around. So, so we'll, we'll see what happens this afternoon with respect to what Mike Pence does. But I, I would imagine he probably adhered for him. No, it's interesting because I joked earlier, it feels like this election has, has gone on four scored seven years because <laughs> it has dragged on and we have been privy to every single component, piece and part of the process that until now was always operating behind the scenes, but not out in front. On the night of the election, generally, the networks called it, we accepted it and the inauguration happened on on January 20th. But you raise an interesting point and that is you look at the system in its entirety, Parts of it work, parts of it don't. Do you throw the baby out with the bathwater, or can you fix it? Well, I think what we're seeing is is the the process working as it should. You know, uh, the fact that these uh, Republicans are going to stand up, 150 some odd of them, uh, maintaining that, that there's problems with the uh, the count somewhere with a slate of electors. We've never really seen that before, and that is something that, uh, at the very least, is is uh, an educational opportunity for, I guess, uh, the rest of the country to kind of see. But uh, but it's one that comes at you know at an expense, unfortunately. Which is, you talk about uh, Trump kind of getting up and and talking to the people down there and and getting them riled up. There's a lot of people who think and believe that there was massive fraud going on. Just wasn't the case, not what's happening, not what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is giving people an opportunity to see what the vice president's role is, what uh, the electors' roles are, what uh, what Congress can truly do. And I think that's a good thing, but uh, but we need to go ahead and get past that. And, and hopefully uh, nothing uh, negative like violence or anything will come from, from uh, what's about to happen, which I believe is is uh, the certification by the uh, by the Congress in terms of, of uh, Biden being the winner. 
Yeah, I, if, if members of Congress want to stand up and voice their concerns and be heard on this platform, I think it's very American to do that. I get a sense that that's where they're leaning, that this is a matter of them making a point and not necessarily to the end that the president would like. We'll see how it plays out. And Eric, we'll circle back with you later to see how many of your textbooks you've taken and just thrown right out the window <laughs> as you teach this, <laughs> this semester's classes in law as it relates to all this election stuff. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank we'll you, We'll see you Eric. next time.